Hey what's up guys this is Nair Sheikh from blogdude.com and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a beautiful and professional blog so let's first see the demo website which we have already created so guys as you can see this is the demo website which we'll be creating in this video at the top we have a logo I'll show you how to create this logo without using any professional softwares like Photoshop or anything like that I'll also show you how to you know put this favicon up there then we'll create this different menus uh, about us contact us page then at the home page as you can see there are different blocks uh, at the left hand side and at the right sidebar we have some recent posts with uh, thumbnails then we have categories then a facebook like page and then social icons now let's see how a post looks like so just click on the post okay so the post is obviously the most important thing in any blog because this is the main data this is the main thing you're publishing at the top as you can see this is a title then some text then I'll show you how to put this image then this image also then I'll also show you how to put this block code these bullet points and I'll also show you how to put this color to different font and then we'll see how to put a permalink to or a custom link to any text or any image so let's see how a category looks like for example when we click on make money online this is a category I have created so as you can see different blocks that depend or that belong to one particular category will show up so let's see the about us page now Oh yeah, so this is our about us page as you can see I have put some color to the title and to this thing also and then at the left side we have some text and at the right side we have a image I'll show you how to do all these things so this is really simple and professional now let's see our contact us page okay guys so this is our contact us page at the left side there is a simple and a very nice looking contact form at the right side we have some text the get in touch message text then we we have used some beautiful icons for the address phone and email then we have business hours obviously you can edit anything you want in this column but i just created this thing so i'll show you how to create this thing and edit this thing okay guys so this was our demo and also remember the website which we'll be creating is 100% mobile friendly what I mean by that is it adjusts to your mobile automatically you don't have to scroll right and left to you know just to view that thing it is mobile friendly when you view this thing in mobile as you can see the menu shifts over here uh, the three lines when you click on that this is your menu all the images and the text automatically converts according to the resolution of the device you are using so this is a mobile friendly website this is SEO friendly and we'll be using WordPress which is the most easiest way to create a website so let's get started okay guys so to create a website we need a hosting plan and a domain name for both hosting and domain I prefer the hostgator.com so you'll find a link in the video description below which will redirect you to this particular page where you can select among the three different plans this is the hashling plan a baby plan and a business plan uh, basically we are going with the baby plan because it has got unlimited domains whereas in hashling plan you can only register one domain with the hosting uh, account so select the baby plan and click on sign up now okay at the top we have to uh, enter our domain name if you already own a domain name then click on this uh, I already own this domain and put in your domain name so because I already own the domain name and putting my domain name over here blogdude.com then as you can see we have already selected the baby plan now you have to select the billing cycle 36 month or whatever you want I personally prefer to go with 12 months so click on 12 month and select any username of your choice it can be anything you want and a security pin or uh, your security pin must be 4 to 8 character long may only contain numbers now uh, here put in all your information your billing information your email address first name last name company name whatever it is uh, if you want to pay with PayPal 
go with paypal or you can pay with a credit card or a debit card put in the information of your credit card or debit card over here then scroll down and untick all these things because we don't need this thing and suppose you want or you need these things in future you can obviously uh, buy this thing or purchase these things uh, later on so we don't need now so for now we don't need all these things here we have a coupon code at present we are getting a 40% discount so if you're getting a 40 50% discount or 60% discount you don't need to put my coupon code just click on the link in the video description below to host gator and your work will be done here we have enter a coupon code so just go there delete this thing and put in web dude 45 and click on validate as you can see when you put in web dude 45 you are getting a 45 percent discount which is a great discount so after you have completed filling all the fields just tick on i have read and agree to the terms and conditions and click on checkout now okay so once you click on checkout you'll receive a email on your registered email address just open this thing and here you'll find all the important things which are needed for the website for example your plan which plan you're using your control panel link your username domain password name servers make sure you save this information somewhere because this is very important so first what you have to do is just click on the control panel link and open this in a new tab and now put in your username and password and click on login so once you have clicked on login this is the C panel this is your control panel from where you will be controlling your website so at the top as you can see it is wordpress installer just click on that because we want to install wordpress on our domain name okay guys so once you get this window select your domain name from here the domain name on which you want to install wordpress so my domain name is 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 this one and make sure you leave this directory empty click on next now put in any block title you want for example, I'm putting create website with Nayar. Admin user should be Nayar. First name Nayar, last name Sheikh. Select your admin email. Make sure the admin email you're selecting is active and you have access to that email address because all the information, the important information like the password, the username, you'll be getting on this particular email. Okay, so once you are done that, just tick the terms and services agreement and click on install now. Okay guys, so as you can see, it says installation is completed. Uh, you are getting the install to domain, username and password. So just click on this link and open this link in a new tab. It shows a 404 page not found. Don't worry, this is really common because the WordPress is not yet been installed on this domain so it takes some time around four to five minutes so just keep on refreshing the page uh, once you get it we'll continue okay guys so now our wordpress has been installed on our domain so what you do is just click on here and after your domain put in slash forward slash wp dash admin and press enter so once you do that just copy your username from here and paste it over here similarly copy and paste your password from here and paste it over here and click on login okay guys, so once you're logged in this is how your dashboard looks like and the first thing which and the first thing what we are going to do is change our password so for that just how over here which says howdy naya it will say your name howdy whatever your name is and click on edit my profile and at the bottom here you will see new password click on generate password it will generate a new password for you but we want our own custom password so we delete this thing as it is very tricky for us very difficult for us to uh, remember and put in our own password okay it says it's a weak password click on confirm use of weak password and update your profile 
now what we have to do is change some general settings so clear uh, at the left side you will see different menus over there you will see something called setting menu how our setting and you will see different options now click on general options now as you can see this is a site title and a tagline make sure you put in site title and tagline according to your website that befits your website for example when you see my website the site title is blog dude and a tagline is a guide for all the bloggers when you hover over my website uh, at the top as you can see you can see the site title and the tagline so you can also put in site title and tagline uh, that befits your website so let's put in something so for site title i'm putting blog dude and for tagline create a blog okay so this is what we have to do over here and click on save changes now again come to settings and under settings you'll see something called permalinks just click on that and we have to select this post name permalink because this is the most seo friendly because we want our blog to be shown and to be indexed on google which is the most important thing i guess so make sure you select the post name and click on save changes it says your site is currently displaying a coming soon page once you are ready to launch your site click here so because we are creating a demo i'm creating a tutorial so i'll always need to check the website for the changes so i'm clicking over here to make my site live okay so once you have installed the wordpress let's see how our website looks like now so how over here and open this page in a new tab okay guys so this is how our website looks like now but we want to create and make something like this so for that we'll need to install a theme so come back to your dashboard at the left side you will see something called appearances how our appearances and select themes a great thing about WordPress is that you get so many beautiful and professional themes for free. Now click on WordPress.org themes because we want to install a free theme. And in the search bar, type in Poseidon. P-O-S-E-I-D-O-N. And here as you can see, this is the theme you want. So just click on install. So once the theme is installed, uh, it will ask you to activate. So click on activate. Okay, so we have successfully activated our new theme. Now let's again come back to our website and see how our new theme looks like. So when we refresh the page, this is how the theme is. Uh, it is really simple and very good, but still it misses all this stuff. So what we have to do is now start creating posts, sidebars, menus, logos and all. Okay, for that come back to our dashboard and first we have to install some plugins. So how our plugins uh, at the left side and click on add new. Now we have to install some plugins. I have written all the names of the plugins in the video description below. So you can check out all the plugins. So these are the different plugins social icons by theme grill so first okay so this is our first plugin social icons by theme grill so click on install now it says it's been installed now click on activate okay so it is activated again how our plugins and select add new because we want to add more plugins and the next plugin which we want to install is site origin widget bundle so type in site origin widget bundle in the search bar and this is the one we want so click on install now and again click on activate Oh yeah, so similarly you can install and activate all the plugins which are given in the video description below. The list is given in the video description below. So once you have installed all your plugins, we are ready to create our first post or our first blog. 
so again at the left sidebar hover post and click on add new and here is the title here the title will come it says enter title over here so let's see how we have created this blog so the title is powerful page template I'm just copying and pasting this you can put in your title that befits your you know content uh, that is good for your content then what we do is click on talk toolbar toggle it gives us more options now let's copy this text because I don't want to type everything and waste your time okay so once you have copied that okay guys so now let's see how to put in the image over here so what you do is click on add media and upload a new file so for that click on select files and select the file you want so this is the file or this is the image I want so click on open now click on insert into post so as you can see the text is coming down because this is not aligned properly so click on the image and as you can see you will see different alignment options below at present it is set to no alignment what we have to do is select align left so as you can see the image has come to the left side and the text is now on the right side now we have to add this image a full width image that is for stretch across the post so for that again click on add media upload files select file so this is the image we want to add so select that image and click on open so once you have done that click on insert into post so as you can see this image is coming very small so what we do is select over here and drag it or extract it till we find the perfect size so we have taken this image also now what we do is add some more text okay so I'll adding all this text just click over just copy and paste it over here so now let me show you how to put the text into block code as you can see this text is block coded so for that what we do is select the whole text which we want to quote and at the top click on block quote so once we do that the text shifts towards the right which say which we which confirms that the text has been you know added to the block quote okay now we have to add some bulleted points so let's see how to do that just copy again and now suppose we want to put a bullet point to this uh, text or to this sentence what we do is select this sentence and click on bulleted list or if you want to make it number list so click on numbered list okay similarly for all different text okay so this is how you create a bullet point or a number uh, list uh, in WordPress now we have to see how to color the text and put a link to the sentence or to any particular word so again copy this thing paste it over here so as you can see it is not colored so suppose we want to color this sentence red so what we do is click on text color and select red color similarly you can do it for all the different text and this is already linked to some different page so suppose we want to remove the link so what we do is just click on this link and here it says remove click on remove so as you can see that link has been removed and suppose from here for example we want to link this thing this particular word we want to link this particular word to some different page so what we do is just select this word at the top we click insert or edit link and put in the link suppose I want to you now redirect this sentence or this word to my website so I put in my website and click on apply so whenever somebody will click on this sentence they will be redirected to my website so this is how it happens so once we have created the blog our post at the right side we have to 
select a category that befits the post at present we haven't created any category so what we do is click on add new category so we can create a category from here only suppose we want to create a category called make money online although this doesn't belong to this particular category but just for the purpose of showing you guys and press enter so the category has been created and this uh, thing is already ticked which means this post belong to this particular category then coming down we have featured image option so click on set featured image now we can select a featured image for this particular post what is a featured image for example let's come back to our home page uh, in the demo website so as you can see this is a featured image which shows uh, besides the post so for that just click on upload file and select any featured image of our choice for example I'm putting this one so select this click on open now click on select featured image okay so once we are done with that just click on publish okay congratulations guys because we have successfully created our first post so let's see how our post looks like just open this link in a new tab okay so this is a problem we'll fix this problem now come down as you can see the image is shifted we have put this image block code colored this thing and as I showed you this thing is linked to my website when I open this link in a new tab my website opens so just cancel this this is how easy it is now we have to remove this thing so for that what we do is click on customize at the top and at the bottom we'll see something called theme options click on that general settings we can uh, choose the sidebar we at present we have the right sidebar we are happy with that it says enable sticky header feature what is that for example this is our header the sample page and this belongs to header when we scroll down the header disappears but we don't want that we want a sticky header like we have in the demo page in the demo website when we scroll down the header remains with us it doesn't go away for example wherever you scroll the header is always at the top so for that if you want that just click on enable sticky header feature now here we see post layout single post is it says show featured image as header image so what we do is hide featured image okay so we have successfully done that so once you are done that just click on save and publish okay guys so we have successfully created our first post so similarly you can create any amount of or any number of post you want now what we do is we say this sidebar for example here we have recent post with a thumbnail but here recent post is just some text or line so we want to make it attractive something like this also we have to remove all these things archives cat uh, comments meta and put in some awesome stuff like category of Facebook like widget social icons so for that again come back to your dashboard hover over appearances and select widgets so at present we have six different widgets we want this search bar so we don't do anything with that we don't want this recent post so what we do is just click on delete we don't want this recent comment if you want this you can keep it but I don't want so what I do is delete this thing also I don't want the archives so delete this I do want the category so I don't do anything with this uh, I also want to delete the meta so let's do that now let's see in our demo website what we have we have a recent post with thumbnails okay so for that let's search for recent post extended so here is our recent post extended as you may remember you might have downloaded uh, and installed a plugin called recent post extended so this is what it does it adds a new widget to your website so what we do is click on that make sure sidebar is selected and click on add widget okay so we don't have to do anything with this we just have to change the size of this so instead of 45 by 45 we have to do it 45 by 
65. Once you have done that, scroll down and click on save. Now minimize this thing by clicking over here. Now again let's see what we have. We have categories, we already have our categories over here. But the category is below recent post. So what we do is click and hold category and drag it down. So as you can see this is how easy it is. Now we have to add a like box. So again come back to the widgets and search for Facebook by Weblisa. So once you find that, click on that, make sure sidebar is selected and click on add widget. So you can put any title over here. For example, uh, here we have like box for that. We put in like us on Facebook. Okay. You can put in your Facebook page URL. For example, my Facebook page URL is facebook.com slash blog dude. Show faces, I'll say yes. These are the faces, so we say yes. Show live stream, uh, I'm going with no. Now we have to set the uh, widget width and height. So our widget width will be 364 and our height will be 560, which is good. Now we have to create a Facebook ID, a Facebook app ID. So for that you will see a link in the video description below. Just click on that link. Okay guys, so once you click on that link, you will be redirected to this page. So what you have to do is at the right top, just hover my apps and click on add a new app. In the display name, you can choose any display name. I am choosing blog dude, sorry, blog dude. Uh, contact email I'm putting in my email address you can choose any category for example I'm choosing education and click on create app ID so once you come here at the left side you'll see something called dashboard click on dashboard and here is your app ID so just select this ID and copy it come back to your widgets and delete this thing and paste in your app ID. So once you are done that, just click on save. Okay, so we have successfully created this thing. Now we have to put in some social icons. So for that, again, come back to your widgets. Scroll down and find something called social icons. Okay, here it is. Select that. Make sure sidebar is selected. Click on add widget. And here you don't have to do anything instead of social icons you can uh, put in any title uh, of your choice and uh, we have to put this size as 32 pixels and you can you know put in your custom uh, Twitter address for example my custom Twitter address is twitter.com slash real near and for Facebook again blog dude you can also add links to other social networks for that just click on add icon and put in the link address it will read it will uh, automatically uh, create a icon for you for example I want to put in my YouTube account so what I do is copy and paste in my YouTube link and as you can see the icon is all automatically created so as uh, similarly you can add as many items as you want so for now it is enough and I'm click on save. So we have successfully done with all the widgets. Now what we have to do is come back to our website, refresh and let's see the changes. Okay guys, so as you can see the changes has taken place. You can see my Facebook page over here, social icons, category and because we have created only one post right now so we are seeing only one post so now let me create some different dummy post so that we can redirect uh, those posts to different categories and after that we can create our menu so I'm pausing this video I'll be creating a few posts and then we'll continue okay guys so I have successfully created all the post the dummy post so once you do that as you can see your website now looks really beautiful now what we have to do is create a about us and a contact us page. 
So let's see how our about us page looks like. So this is our about us page. So similarly for that, what we do is there are two ways of doing that. Either we hover over new and click on page or we go back to our dashboard and at the left side we'll see pages menu. So hover over pages and click on add new. In the title, type in about us. Now we have to create something like this, a page like this. We are at present at visuals. So what we have to do is click on page builder. As you can see over here, it is page builder. So click on page builder. Now click on row because we want to add a new row. So once you do that, stretch this thing to 65 into 35. Okay, fine. It is now fine. Once you're done that, click on insert. What does this mean is we have created a row and we have created two columns among that row. For example, this is a row and this is two columns. One column is this, another column is this image. So our first column is 65% and the third column is 35%. So this is what it means. So click on first column and click on add widget. Now scroll down and select site origin editor. Once you're done that, hover site origin editor and click on edit. Now we have to put in this text. So what I do instead of typing everything, just copy it from here and paste it over here. So once you have pasted over here, as you can see here, the color is different of the title. So what we do is just select this title and click on text color and put in any color of our choice. Similarly for this thing, you'll also note that this uh, text is bigger than the regular text because how to do that. So for that, suppose you want to increase this text, select this tag and over here it is selected heading, heading one. So now we have this paragraph text. So this text is similar to this tag but we want to make it bigger heading one. So this is how we do it. So once you're done that, click on done. Now select the second column and again click on add widget. Now scroll down and select site origin image because now we want to add a image in the next column. So for that again click on edit, choose, choose media, upload the media. So this is what uh, we are going to upload select now click on set media uh, image size should be full now click on done so once you are done doing all this thing just click on publish and now let's see how our page looks like open this page in a new tab so guys as you can see our page really looks awesome but we don't want this thing because we don't have this thing in our demo website we don't have the sidebar so for that again come back to your page and here you will see template so it is set to default template what we have to do is select full width page so once you do that click on update now come back to our page and refresh the page okay this looks awesome so we have successfully created our about us page now it's time to create a contact us page for that go back to your dashboard at the left side you will see this contact menu so click on contact menu you will see a contact form is already created for us so what we have to do is just click on this short code and copy this thing this is what we have to put in uh, our page now again hover our pages and click on add new Put the title as contact us and again we have to go to page builder so click on page builder click on add row and we want this 50 50 percent so let it be click on insert select the first column and now click on add widget now select site origin editor now edit this site origin editor and just paste in the code this is how easy it is. This will automatically create a contact form. For example, this contact form. We don't have to create it. It is already created for us. We just have to
paste in the code once you're done that click on done now again select the second column and click on add widget and now select site origin editor now click on edit now just go back to the demo page the link is obviously given in the video description below the demo page and copy all these things and paste it over here now you can edit this text accordingly so whatever you want to put in the get in touch message why we copied it because we are getting this beautiful icons without creating this icons so for that we have copied this you can change the timing whatever you want change the address phone number so this is how you create this once you are satisfied with the information click on done and again in the template instead of default template we want full width page so select that and click on publish now let's see how our page looks like contact us page open this in a new tab and as you can see this looks really beautiful professional okay so now what we have to do is create different categories as you may remember while creating this particular post we already made a new category make money online so that was the first way or the one way of creating a category there is another way let me show you how we do that so for that come back to a dashboard at the left side you'll see post how our post and select categories here we have to put in the name and the category will be created accordingly i have automatically created many categories like affiliate marketing features make money online youtube you can create another category for example you can name that category as facebook or anything you want and just click on add new category so this category is created so similarly you can create as many categories as you want now what we have to do is change our header as you can see for that we want a logo the beautiful logo like this so as i told you in the beginning i won't use any professional softwares like uh, photoshop or anything and i'll show you so easily how easily you can create a logo for that open a new tab and type in logomaker.com the link is obviously given in the video description below you can follow that link hey guys so once you open this website what we have to do is search for graphics for example you want something like a butterfly so what you do is just type in butterfly and click on enter as you can see you can get many different logos many different icons colorful icons black and white icons you can select whatever you want for example i like this one so i'm selecting this thing now keep this thing small we want height of around 50 so as you can see when we resize this we can get the height and width make sure the height is fit to uh, 50 pixels we can also add some text for example for that just click on over your text and type in anything you want for example butterfly and again do this same with this one make sure height is 50 okay now keep this thing over here beside this and we can change the uh, the font from here but I like that uh, able font only so what I do is keep this thing and we can also change the color of the font for example as you can see we can change the color of the font we can also make some different changes like we can make it decorative or whatever okay so once you are done that click on crop okay now crop this image make sure the height is only 50 not more than that so that you can get a perfect logo for your website once you are done that just click on save logo so we have successfully created a logo without using any professional software something 
Now let's insert this logo into our website. So for that, come back to your website and here click on customize. Now select site identity and here you'll see an option for logo. So click on select logo, upload image. So this is the butterfly logo we just created. So click on open and select it will ask you to crop the image just do it like this and click on crop image so this is how it looks and we are also getting the site title we don't want that so untick this display site title okay that's gone now we have to upload the fav icon as i said this is the fav icon for example when you click here uh, for Gmail, this is the fav icon. So for our website also, we have created a fav icon. Make sure the fav icon is a square image. So select this thing, click on crop image. You can also create a fav icon from logo maker obviously. So here it will appear as you can see. Now we can get this fav icon over here. Once you're done that, click on save and publish. So we have successfully created our logo and our favicon. Now it's time to create the menu. So for that, come back to your dashboard. And hover appearances and select menus. What we have to do is create a new menu. Uh, it says menu name. You can put in any menu name. So I'm just putting it menu main or main menu whatever you want click on create menu okay so we don't want this sample page so we click on here and click on remove we want the home page about us page obviously now we want to add all this category uh, into the menu so we select all the category and click on add to menus but we want our about us page and contact us page at the last so what we do is click and hold on about us and drag it down similarly with the contact us page so once you're done that click on save menu now let's refresh the page and see how it looks okay it doesn't show because we have not Take this thing, main navigation, just take this thing and click on save menu now. Okay, so as you can see, now it shows the menu, the logo, everything. So with this, we have successfully created our blog, but this is not the end. After creating a blog, we have to do marketing of our blog. We have to do email marketing. We have to make it SEO friendly. So for that, I'll be making another video for now. Thank you for watching my video and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the next video which is a very important video and if you like this video and I hope you like this video just click on that like button and leave a comment below the video if you have any doubt anything you can leave a comment and I'll try my best to give you a reply as soon as possible. So you can also watch my different videos for example I have created a video on how to create an e-commerce website using WordPress, how to create a social networking website using WordPress and many different videos. So you can go ahead and different and watch all those videos. You will get a lot to learn from them. For now, thank you for watching. Stay